Hey alright there guys, this is Corbin, welcome to the Warlords of Draenor Alpha now. I haven't got a whole lot to show you guys just yet, the Alpha is very unstable as expected, and the BG and Arena queues are either bugged or just take weeks to pop. Um, I haven't been able to get into a single one yet, but all of that aside I've been able to record a couple of duels, we can also have a look at some of the new glyphs, the level 100 talents and a few ability changes. So in these clips I have no macros and my keybinds suck, they have a habit of constantly resetting themselves every time I DC, but still, you can at least see a little bit of gameplay and the first thing I noticed right away, and hated, was that fell flame is gone, we've known that it was coming for some time, um, and it feels as bad as I thought it would. It's not too bad, but in these duels I did keep on hitting my fell flame keybind, and just feeling repeatedly sad when nothing happened. As for an overall playstyle shift though, the absence of fell flame wasn't the biggest deal ever as Destro, it means that we just can't run around as much and our damage will suffer when melees get their hands on us so it's a nerf, but I'm pretty sure that we can handle it. The changes that actually hit me the hardest were the fact that our succubus pet seduction now has a chunky ass cooldown, but even more than that, our fell hunter's spell lock is no longer a blanket silence, it only acts as a range interrupt. And again, we all knew that this change was coming, but reading it from some patch notes and actually playing with the modified ability are two different things entirely. It actually made me realise just how often that I'm using spell lock as a blanket right now on retail. I'm not worried about this though, I am a big supporter of removing the blanket silences like spell lock and silencing shot interrupts in my opinion, just heighten the skill cap or at least require a little more reactive gameplay than just blanket silencing someone, so I can get used to this though I will miss blanket silencing DKs and enhanced shamans and just basting the shit out of them before they can pop anything to defend themselves. So now let's look at some of the new glyphs, some of them seem pretty good situationally but there are a few like this glyph of curses, for example, that are just PvE glyphs, this one increasing the radius of effect um, on your curse of elements, and exhaustion by 10 yards. The next is a Dark Soul glyph, this one halves the cooldown of Dark Soul, cutting it down to 1 minute, but it also halves the duration, so your Dark Soul will last 10 seconds on a 1 minute cooldown. Now using Akamon's Darkness to get 2 charges of Dark Soul, each on a 1 minute cooldown, that could be really really good for Destro, as long as you manage to land your Chaos Bolt and Conflag Burst, or whatever, um, in those 10 seconds, however if you pop a 10 second long Dark Soul and get kicked on your Case Bolt cast, it is suddenly not very likely that you're going to be landing the cast before the Dark Soul ends, and this would definitely suck. So it's an interesting glyph, but I'm not convinced just yet that it is going to be replacing any of our current priority glyphs. The glyph of Flames of Zoroth makes it so that casting Flames of Zoroth does not consume a Burning Ember, I don't think that this is going to be a much used glyph, I love Destro Lux and just sacrifice their pet, at least right now, and even if we were to be using a fell hunter or something, and um, one burning ember per minute isn't a huge amount of pay to revive it when it dies. Glyph of Life Pact reduces the mana cost of all spells by 30%, though it does drain 1% of your max health per second until you hit 75%. I'm not even sure if this is usable by destruction, and if it is, I can't see us using it. Um, if we still have our fell flame, this could be a really good talent as we never oom from spamming it, but because we don't, we have virtually no mana issues right now on the alpha anyway. The Glyph of Strengthened Resolve causes your unending resolve to mitigate a further 20% damage making it reduce incoming damage by 60% overall, however it just increased the cooldown to 4 minutes. And at first I thought that this was garbage as well but in something like Rated Battlegrounds or maybe even normal BGs, this could be very very good when you have 4 or 5 people spamming damage onto you, a 60% shield wall is going to be a massive help and I felt that the increased cooldown doesn't actually mean as much in Battlegrounds as it does in Arena so this could be an option for RBGs. And finally Glyph of Twilight Ward causes your Twilight Ward to absorb damage from all magic schools rather than from only Holy and Shadow and this one is pretty underwhelming in my opinion and I can't see it being picked up by many people all too often. Next up are the level 100 talents I'm going to be quickly going over these just for anyone who hasn't checked them out yet themselves. Chad remains pretty much turns you into a case bolt lobbing machine causing your incinerate and conflag to deal 60% less damage while increasing the embers they generate by 300% and it also makes your chaos bolt affected by fire and brimstone which I can't wait to try out even if I don't like this talent much overall. Cataclysm is a 1 minute cooldown immolate bomb dropping a ton of damage in an AoE and applying immolate to every target hit. It has a beefy cast time at nearly 3 seconds but I am leaning towards this one for the time being. And Demonic Servitude allows you to control Doom Guards and Infernals as full time pets and this one could be epic but it really depends on what utility spells they offer and whether or not we're going to be mainly running as Grimoire of Sacrifice or of Supremacy in Warlords. And staying on the subject of talents there's been a change to Grimoire of Sacrifice and um, for destruction at least and instead of getting a damage buff we now get 35% increased critical strike chance on Incinerate Conflag 
Chaos Bolt and Shadow Ban and at best. And I thought that this was awesome. If you were to stack some crit, you could easily have 50 or 60% crit chance on Incinerate, and that is really good. But Chaos Bolt already has a 100% critical strike chance. Now, apparently, Chaos Bolt's damage increases the more crit chance that you have, so I was dismayed when I casted a Chaos Bolt with Grimmar of Sack up, and then another one without Grimmar of Sack up, to see that both dealt the same damage. So, in effect, Grimmar of Sacrifice was not buffing Chaos Bolt's damage at all. Now this could definitely be a bug or a change that hasn't quite been implemented yet if Grimmar of Sac will actually buff Chaos Bolt's damage by a chunk as well as give us a load of crit chance on Incinerates. I really really like this talent but if it doesn't, using one of the pet Grimmars will probably be better. So anyways that is about it for this mini kind of intro vid to the Warlords of Draenor Alpha. I'm going to be making a ton of content based around it as more updates come about so keep your eyes open but for now Thanks for watching, everybody post any thoughts you have in the comments below, stay destro, and I'll catch you all a little bit later.